film about this, especially in Mughal Sir's wife, when you are doing this. After completing this film, what did you feel? Actually, Murli or Badamadi, did you realize that I have become a Murli or uh, could you ever know, uh, transform into yourself, your original character from uh, being Murli? Uh, yeah, so I would never have the audacity to think on to think I'll be <laughs> someone as legendary as Murli Sir, but yes, I could completely connect to Hoopsol's so story. Uh, I myself could draw a lot of parallels with the way I have come up since uh, I have been working as a child, you know, trying to get good at my craft, which Sir obviously has. So, uh, from an emotional point of view, I could completely connect and uh, empathize and put myself in his shoes. So, yeah, that was not the toughest part, but the toughest part is, I think, uh, straight, staying true to the person that he was. And for that, I completely relied on all the research for like almost two years that I've happened in staying in Sri Lanka and learning about Sir. Because obviously, Sir has so many commitments that he couldn't be there with us all the time. So, I heavily depended on him. And, and if I've done a good job at all, and the credit goes completely to the crew. And, and they all make me feel at home, even though I'm a complete outsider in this industry. So, I just have so much gratitude for him. Yeah. Finally, uh, we would want to hear few words about your captain, our <laughs> captain, <laughs> Sri Pati sir. Because uh, ultimately, we would expect you to do more films in Tamil yeah, from here sure. on. Uh, but uh, your first uh, Tamil film director was Sri Pati sir. That is written now. So what do you want to say about the Lord Captain? I just firstly want to say that uh, it takes a certain type of person to be a Tamil director. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just want to say that it takes a certain kind of person when your film has gone through so many uh, you know, hiccups at the start. There has been a lot of turbulence to still not lose the passion for it. And he didn't mind that I'm not like a big star or anything at all, you know, I'm just up, an upcoming actor. And he trusted me, you know. So to have that faith in someone just solely on the basis of their ability and, you know, obviously the work and everything else. It takes a big person to uh, do that. And I throughout, like I said before, you know, it was just him. He was my guiding light, my tuning fork, and every day I would come on set and try to see if, if, if I see him smiling at the end of a shot, then I would be happy. Then I think I would have you know, done my job. So, yeah, can't thank you enough, Captain. Thank you so much.